Hi, everybody. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Here we are in another day of Darling, Harvest Moon. Uh, Harvest I think Moon. it's a fest. Is it a festival? No. No, I don't think so. Festival. We had a festival. What are you doing? I'm you can't get behind her. What are you doing? <laughs> it's fun. It's cows, chickens. Dude, you got 3160? Is that what it was? They say it a gift from the workman. Oh, that's what they say it. They say it a gift from the workman. Monday, 25th of fall. We're getting close to winter, We're almost in dude. winter. We're getting close, isn't Winter it? is coming. I would take care of your animals. Check to see if, um... Venta is coming. Check to see if you can cut your grass Let's before it gets wintertime. Reference. Oh, really? Yeah. Winter is coming. Oh, yeah. I, I know that reference. It's the Stark. I've, Stark I've never... Family. I've never seen Game of Thrones. The, uh... I've never seen any of it. The uh, um, or I guess it's a song of ice and fire. A song of reference. ice and fire. The uh, um, I liked I I you know I like the television show. I think I it's engaging. I like the books too. But I read like I read like three quarters of the first book, mm -hmm. and then just like I don't know, just never like picked it up again. I don't know. It didn't uh, it didn't grab me. I guess it was oh fuck. What the fuck happened I, to that food? That was glitchy. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like, I know there's obviously, like, millions of people that love it dearly, and that's fucking rad. It just didn't grab me as much as, like... Did you get to the twist in the does. first book, though? Uh, I maybe. Not. Probably not. Um, it was... I guess it's not really spoilers at this point. Uh, you know the main guy, Eddard Stark? Yeah. Uh, did you get to the point where he died? No, but I know that he does, because yeah. it's Sean Bean, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I know dies, that he yeah. fucking dies, because yeah. he's played by but Sean Bean. But the main character, I like the way that they kind of turned it on. Yeah, he was pretty, like, I enjoyed that. I also think that I just had a problem in, in reading it, because some of the characters had similar names. Yeah, and so and then, it's, it's very... And there's, like, 76 main core characters yeah, to the first book. Of... So, like, trying to keep their names straight. So I'd be reading through a, a, a chapter, yeah. going, like, why is this Who person here? I thought that they were friends Why is this other? person here saying these things? And then I'd oh, finish the chapter and be like, brush my cows. oh, fuck, no, that's not the same guy. That's a different person a entirely. Different guy, and so yeah. then I'd have to, like, reread the chapter. And then it was like, whoa, this makes so much more <laughs> sense. Yeah. There's and a lot. so I think that it was just probably me being a, a complete idiot. There's a lot going on. I think but I think I would enjoy the show because I have a... a what a, the... I'm, I'm better at keeping, at keeping I, faces, uh, you know... Yeah, kind of no, it's, it's, it makes a lot more sense when they're the when you have the faces to go with it. Yeah. The, I also uh, hear it's very, like, it's very violent. It's, yeah, it's kind very, of. Uh, it's very graphic. Yeah, but I mean, what isn't nowadays? That's true. What isn't nowadays? It's not, like, horrifically, like... Like, uh, it's not... What is... What was that cow doing? <laughs> I don't know. It, was like, it looked like it was up. trying to walk in place, maybe? I guess. The, uh, heart pen. The, uh... The, yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's violent, but it's not, like, overly violent. If anything, I would say that it's overly sexual. Oh, yeah. Which is not, like, whatever, like, live your life. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stand in your way with that, but... Uh... Yeah, it is very boob heavy. Boob heavy for yeah. the sake of like boobage. Yeah, I think so. Like to get like the yeah, I don't know. To make it quote authentic. Yeah, <laughs> by just showing massive amounts of boob yeah. everywhere. And they they show butt cheek too, and I mean it's like they they okay, they branching out. Yeah, branching out. and they have like lots of lots of love, whether it be between two men. A lady and a man. I think they've had a couple ladies, probably. It's a very uh, heavily. Well, at least they're progressive. I guess. You know, for yeah. Being, for being rooted in like in, medieval fantasy, yeah. at least they're quite progressive. Ugh. <laughs> I ditched my eyes, so I was going all, walking all wonky there. Did I sell that? Yeah, I think I so. That. I hope so. I, uh, <laughs> we'll see in a second. There we yeah, go. There, there he is. is. There he is. There he is. The goal is to sell all the chickens by the end of the. Well, except for one. Yeah, you want to keep one just in yeah. case. And uh, let's see. Oh, I need to go get Got your milker. Got to get uh got to get your my brush. Got to get my my scythe. I uh so I can cut spe some grass. Speaking of like fantasy type esque things, I did pick up Discworld and that is fucking one of my favorite book series ever now. Yeah, Discworld is good. <sighs> yeah, I started reading it. I haven't it. read any of it. I started reading it though. a couple years no, like beginning of last year. 
And um, <laughs> yeah, it's I I love that series a lot. I love the different like stories because there's a couple of different throughout. There's like forty or fifty something books. Yeah. And there's like a couple of storylines that aren't in chronological order, like Not in the at series. All. Yeah. But like the first book and the third book, fourth, you know, seventh, eighth, whatever they are, are all part of like telling the story of one person or a group of people or yeah. whatnot. And they're just they're just all so good. They, yeah, they all grab oh me. God. They all like are time. so funny and clever, and just like hilarious. He definitely knows what he's doing with it. Yeah. Um, I, it's like it's just like that's my that's the kind of fantasy I want to consume now. Is like more of the the tongue-in-cheek sort of um, humorous oh totally you know although I would I would consider I don't know it's a that's a different style of fantasy though yeah it you absolutely know? is yeah I think uh, the I, yeah I don't think I can slog through the uh, through the uh, medieval type of like I think I'm too late God. The uh, medieval kind of like sword, shield, dragons type thing. I don't yeah. think I can do that consistently. Yeah. Now. It's just not in my have real you, house. Have you ever seen the BBC's Merlin? Mm, yeah, a while ago. I love that show. <laughs> I think it's delightful. I don't think I watched all of it. There was so much crap for it, I think, at the time. But I don't know. Like, I... I Talk to my wife because I care about her. I really, I really enjoy it. I think that it's a great take. It's a fresh take because Merlin's not super old. Yeah, and he's, Arthur's he's a not young super kid, right? young. They're both about the same age. They're like early to mid twenties, right? And and so then it becomes more of like a buddy comedy. <laughs> you know, it's like Merlin and Arthur is it's more like of like they, a, a medieval fantasy buddy comedy. It's like when they redid uh, the Sherlock for season, yeah, exactly. CBS. It's like BBC Sherlock. Basically, they're taking all of these like. All of these like old ancient stories and turning them into buddy comedies, except for like The Hobbit, with, dude. Uh, they're taking like all of these old stories and they're just turning them. Except for like the CBS also comedies. did one, and then they made Watson into a, a lady. Oh, Lucy Liu, yeah. yeah. My mom loves that version of it. How cool is that? And then Sherlock is still like a druggie. Yeah. Boom, got some milk. Boom, milked it. Um, yeah, which is strange, but cool at the same time, like, totally. That's yeah. why can't Watson be a girl, you know? Yeah. Well, Let's and stop exactly, and, like, that's great. Why can't Merlin be a fucking... Teenager. Teenager. What if Merlin was a girl? That'd yeah, be cool. that'd be cool. Or Arthur was a girl. That'd be neat, too. I'd be down. Dude, write it. Queen Arthur. Queen Arthur. Like, B. Arthur. Like, yeah, dude, fuck yeah. Have B. Arthur play, play. Well, she's no longer with us. Yeah. <laughs> So she can't. That would be that would be difficult that, to book. That would have been yeah. That would have been the role she, of a lifetime. She's she would have she was my first choice though. Yeah. Be Arthur. Be Arthur. Of course she's a Respect. she's a great. Uh, her absolutely. Her best piece of work is definitely the Star Wars Christmas special. Oh yeah, dude. When she pours that drink into that guy's head. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude. By the way, uh, on that, I last time I I watched the Star Wars Christmas special this Christmas. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that or not. I I watched an abridged version of it. I, I watched I watched I watched John Tron's Christmas special actually. Well, I watched the whole thing. That's definitely something I recommend watching by the way if you have. The uh I think we watched that together. Oh yeah, actually. we watched we definitely watched the ending. The um uh, Yeah, I uh I watched the Star Wars Christmas special right after I watched the Tim and Eric Crimbus special. Oh, yeah? Which, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's basically Tim and Eric... A lot of their stuff is, like, weird, kind of making fun of public access television type things. Yeah. Um, and they had this kind of, like, story that was about Crimbus that was supposed to be, like, cr Christmas, and then they had kind of, like, little skits in between, but it was, like, this public access Crimbus special. Very odd, very poorly acted on purpose type thing. Oh, yeah. that was weird. He beat you, dude. Yeah. He was already there. Chariots of Fire. He beat me. How Chris did he We? How did he beat us? I we, like, know. left. He was still in the shop. He Does knew, he have he a knew secret that we were passage? Coming. He knew that was, we were coming. Was he, like, booking it? But the Crimbus special, I watched the Crimbus special, and then I watched the Star Wars after, directly yeah. after, and it was just as weird. Yeah? It was like... It was like, Tim did and, Tim and Eric do this? Yeah, Tim, Tim and Eric did it on purpose, and then, like, it, we watched this, and it's, like, just as weird and strange. And yeah. the, almost the perfect compliment to it, but it was all, like, serious. 
That's funny. It, it was so disturbing on multiple fronts. It was, it was like... It was like they were really trying. They have minutes of dialogue just between Wookiees. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh, I know. And then Luke Skywalker seen, looks like it. he's cake. With, I know, like, with his, his like, tan, crazy, with his crazy blonde hair. And yeah. his, his summer tan. <laughs> that whole thing that we were talking about, Luke Skywalker, is he gay, whatever... It probably that that speculation stems from that Christmas from the special. Christmas special. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The uh, I I would wear a weird eyeliner and crazy hair if I was performing too. Ooh, it's raining tomorrow. It's getting cooler every day. It's getting cooler. Twenty six of fall. All right, I'm charged. Oh, I could probably sell another mushroom. Oh, and I'm almost to, to another cow. Time? Do you think you have time? I'm almost to another cow. Dude, fuck yeah, that's badass. Gonna get another cow before the, before winter time? Yeah, that's the plan. That is a good call. That's a good the, call. Uh, yeah, it's crazy that we're almost to winter. Yep. And then four cows? I think that'll that'll get us there. Yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. I think so. Yeah, don't eat. Four cows to start, because yep. then, like, that's, what, almost a thousand bucks a day? How much is milk? Uh, I don't know. I well, really and if know. we get four cows, each of those four cows, we're going to have, have babies, right? Yeah, And then eventually. once those babies are grown, Definitely. each of those baby cows that are now adult cows are going to have babies, right? Yeah, because I have three of them right now, and then four, and yeah, and then once they grow up, then they're definitely going to get Prego. That's crazy. The, um, we're gonna be so when I buy them, they're larger. We're going to be full of cows. Yeah, when you buy them, I don't know if the lar if they may. I think it takes the same amount of time for them to turn into adults. Huh. I just think that the naturally born ones are smaller. are smaller just because the ones you buy have already been born yeah. and like raised a little bit, and then you huh. buy them, right? Yeah. And so I don't know if they give milk quicker if you buy them. I'll look that up for next for next week or put next it in the time. comments if you know yeah put it in if you already comments. know how it works the mechanics of cows I'm I'm unsure yay <laughs> eating a cake that can be a trouble dude that's Go nice cool gotta do some stuff now getting some sleepies getting all snuggly mhm mm in my snuggie get your snuggles on I wonder if they're going to. So they're they're releasing Super Nintendo games on the 3DS on the, the new 3DS. on the new 3DS. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if they're going to release everything they've already released. If they release Harvest Moon, they might release oh! Harvest Moon on the new 3DS. Dude. Oh, that'd be so good! Yeah. I'd be so happy! I'd be so. What? Hello. For those of you who don't you know. Go. The new 3DS is getting a, a virtual console library that's yeah, all Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo games. games. And I don't really know much about it. Do you, Are they going to have like everything that they have up on the Wii U? Uh, no, I don't think so. They have select games right now. So is it going to be like vir like 3DS virtual console exclusives? I th uh, There might be. God damn it. That's what I hate. Because I could, like, very easily <laughs> buy right. buy a virtual console game on the Wii U and play oh, it Oh, did that I milk? Way. I don't think you milked. I, th okay. I checked to see if you have the milker. I have the milker. I think you might oh, have, I have the... the milker. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, I have that. You oh, do. Oh, I'm milking. Oh, you did milk, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, what were you going to say? Um, it's like if if there's... Because I, I don't have a new 3DS. I just have the 3DS yeah, have XL. Game. And so I can't get any of the Super Nintendo games. But if they release some that are exclusives that I really want, that's going to suck. Yeah. Well, I know they have F-Zero on there. F-Zero is going to be one F-Zero is already on the, the Wii U. Uh, they, I think all of them are ones that they already have on here. So they had F-Zero, they have Link to the Past, they have uh, a Super Mario World, and then Earthbound is going to be on there. That's fucking rad, yeah. Earthbound. It makes me kind of want to, like... Buy it and like play and it on play your it. own. Play it, yeah. Play it on your own separately outside and like and outside of the confines of the show after we beat it. Well, and like not play thirty minutes every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and actually the, just uh, and then try and get the Sword of Kings. You know. Yeah, dude, take your time with that. Instead of uh, waiting twelve episodes and deciding, you know what, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it anymore. It ain't worth it. You know, but it probably was. I think so. We got so many levels, dude. I yeah, don't think we could have gotten... it was gotten, completely worth it. We got through what we've gotten through so far pretty quickly, just because... Oh, he won't let me sell when it's raining? You responsible person. I knew that. He did that last <laughs> time. 
And then it's probably Friday. Oh no, it's Wednesday, thank god. Okay, so I'll sell the chicken tomorrow. Oh wait, hold on. 27th? I got enough. I'm gonna buy a cow tomorrow. Oh shit, dude. That's I'm exciting. I'm gonna buy a cow tomorrow. That's exciting. I'm gonna buy a cow, sell a chicken, and then everything's gonna be hunky dory, peachy keen. Hunky dory, peachy keen, peachy and then keen. you're gonna be ready for winter. Yep. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. You know nothing, John Snuff! <laughs> yep. that a, oh, sell that egg. And feed your chickens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, oh, yeah. Remember all that stuff. I think I... Did I... Yeah, because I gave that to my, my honey bunches of oats. You did. Oh, what a great cereal. Yeah. I really like honey bunches of oats. Yeah, yeah, I just like shredded wheat. Shredded wheat is great. I just love shredded wheat. I'm a plain Jane about it. I love fucking crunch berries. That, of course, you do. Hell yeah, I love crunch berries. Count Chocula? Yeah, all the all the candy. All, all the candy cereal. All the ones that are more candy than cereal. That's me! Uh, I think, so um, oh, it's raining hard, what'd you say? It's raining so hard you might catch a cold. Oh, shit. Well, on that note, I think it might be a good place to end the episode. I think that's great. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time when we buy a cow, sell a chicken, and see what else is new. John Snuff! <laughs> <laughs>